What's up everyone? Just came home from a warm day outside of New York City. I boated today, trained with a rock climber, hung out generally. And I come home to see a tweet from Conor McGregor saying he is going to retire young. Thank you for the money. So you guys know he has an upcoming rematch with Nate Diaz. A huge rematch in my opinion. Because how much McGregor talked himself for being as good as he is, which I genuinely think he is. And he missed it. You know, Nate Diaz won and the way he won, he just got the arm around, choked. Uh, McGregor was exhausted. Uh, McGregor didn't even fight the choke. They didn't even grab the arm. The arm just came across and choked him out. He was at that point either exhaustion or just didn't know how to defend a rear naked choke. And they, he set for the rematch. Same weight, same person. Pretty much he just really wanted to redo it. And you know you have all this pressure on you when you lose such a fight. After you talk so much smack, he was going hard on it. He knew for sure he was going to win. So he got Dana White with the pull he has. And of course, the UFC wanted the rematch because you kind of have to give McGregor what he wanted. Like I'm sure they were so disappointed that uh, he lost because McGregor was like their star child. You know, he was like the face of UFC along with Ronda Rousey. And um, I guess after Ronda, Ronda Rousey lost, um, Holly Holm. But, you know, he was one of the faces of UFC. You've seen UFC, you recognized McGregor. And for him to lose like that, especially after he just won the belt, his very next fight to lose was a, a shock for, the I think, the whole league. So they set the rematch, and it was going to go down, um, and McGregor tweeted that today. Now, n this is all speculation. I just seen it, but I felt like I just wanted to get it out there, you know, before, uh, before we clear up. You know, I'll, I'll update the description of the video with what his decision is. But imagine, imagine he retires before he fights Nate Diaz again. That is Nate Diaz conquering him. You know, hopefully what he means is he fights Nate Diaz and however it ends, he retires. But even then it would be a shame because I think McGregor is a very talented fighter. Win or lose, I think he's still one of the best. And uh, I would love to see him to go at featherweight and keep defending his title there. Uh, also, what could it be in place? I believe one of McGregor's training partners... Um, or at least a fighter from Ireland fought at an event that McGregor was watching uh, against a Portuguese fighter. And the Portuguese fighter later died from injuries in the fight. McGregor tweeted about it. And um, he was definitely sad about what happened and remorseful. Um, so who knows? That could have been an impact on his decision making. But uh, yeah, he definitely posted the tweet. Here's the tweet. I hope. And uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, I definitely don't hope he retires young. I do think uh, safety and your long-term health is something that's way more important than money. I wanted to fight in the UFC, but I was always... Well, pardon, not the UFC. I wanted to uh, fight MMA. But uh, having my arm broken or having a very serious injury was always something that kind of like stopped me from training really hard. Because I wouldn't mind so much if it's... I mean, I'd be upset if it happened to me in the fight. But if you're having these hard spar these really hard sparring sessions and just training up to a fight, you could be potentially injured there. You know, there's so many times I got into like an arm bar and I almost, you know, I felt the pull on the tendon or a pull on the elbow. To think that, you know, things that you love, like I love working out or I love training or I love staying active. To think that I would have to be like uh, bench bound because of a practice session I had one night and a guy went too rough or I wasn't quick enough to tap or I thought I could break out of it. So it is a scary thing. And uh, definitely I would say, you know, it's a, it's a risk, it's a gamble. You know, and why gamble once you're already a millionaire? But um, it would be a shame. Uh, I would love to see McGregor keep fighting. So let's hopefully, uh, let's hope he made a joke or something. He definitely got us talking about it. Cause that would be crazy. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Peace.